A ripple in the warp, a disturbance in the Empyrean. The Grey Knights scan their surroundings for the stench of foul warp spawn, ever ready to do the Emperor's bidding. A flash, a bolt of sickly green lightning. Demons pour from the netherworld, spilling forward into real space with one goal, the destruction of mankind. This is 40K in 40 minutes. Battle Demonica. Welcome 40K fans, Tycho Imiga here as we bring you a classic matchup of demons versus Grey Knights as Mike Buns faces off against our very own JT. Mike has yet to face demons. However, he too is a solid general, so this should be a really interesting matchup. So today I'm playing Grey Knights. Can't wait. I haven't got to play them on channel yet. It's a, a beloved army of mine. In fact, it's the only Imperium uh, that I actually play. Everything else has to be evil. Mike has brought a real foot slogging list. No vehicles and no nemesis dread knights. His forces are led by an apothecary with a brotherhood librarian and Castellan Crow as the general. He has two strike squads, as well as two terminator squads, one 10 man and one five man, an inceptor squad and a heavy purgation squad for fire support. Some servitors round out his forces, excellent troops for performing actions. I've never played Tempest before, so I'm interested to try it out. Uh, I actually own the cards, but haven't got to it. Always just playing those Nephilim missions, trying to work on the competitive scene. So I'm really looking forward to it. Mike Buns is one of my best friends. He's a fantastic guy. Love playing against him, always have great games, and I'm really looking forward to this match. JT has brought an eclectic collection of demons for this 1500 point fight. Led by a Lord of Change, he also has a Poxbringer and a Changecaster to lead his two squads of Plague Bears and his Pink Horrors. Zinch shoots a lot, and his Flamers and Exalted Flamer will look to do just that, along with the Skull Cannon of Corn and his a big squad of Blood Crushers. JT is light on action units, so if his secondary draws don't go well, he could be in a little bit of trouble here. He definitely has an advantage here today playing Grey Knights into Chaos Demons. However, I have some tricks up my sleeve that I don't think he's prepared for that might turn the tide of the warp in my favor. Today's mission is Take and Hold. From the Tempest of War deck, players will score five points for holding one objective, five points for holding two, and five for holding more than their opponent, to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 for the match. So we have a weird deployment that I've never used before. It's this kind of cool half moon on both sides. It gets really tight, maybe like 13, 15 inches from each other on the corners. The spearhead deployment sees these two set up fairly close to each other. Mike has placed his servitors back in the corner to protect them from aggressive deep strikes. And JT likewise has placed units to make it hard for Mike to sneak in. I need to make sure that he can't reach me with his guns in deployment. So I'm gonna try to get him to come up and then counter punch him as hard as I can. One of the new mechanics that demons have is the warp storm table. So you roll eight dice at the start of the battle round and for every four up you get a warp storm point. The general warp storm table is really strong as well. You can minus shooting, make psychic harder, ignore terrain effects. The big one is the five warp storm points lets you regen models and lets you regen wounds for your entire army. Uh, that is probably one of the best things that the demons can do because you can bring models back to the table that have already been killed. Mike has chosen to put Castellan Crow, as well as a strike squad in reserve, and they will be able to appear via teleport strike anywhere on the table, outside of nine inches of enemy models. JT has placed his flamers in reserve, and you can expect them to come down and torch something with their 12 inch flamers. Hey buddy. I got a four. That's better than three, but You're it's not first. better than six. It's not better than six. Can All right, good luck man. for me. Okay, oh man, I'm going first. All right, let's see what I can do. This episode is brought to you by Audible. Audible boasts an awesome library, including original podcasts and nearly every black library audiobook. 
Audible is a constant companion on boring commutes and stimulates, educates, and excites during the most mundane tasks. Catch up on Warhammer lore or enjoy the best in sci-fi classics like Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Audible has a great 30-day trial with access to their fantastic audiobooks, original entertainment, and podcasts. Start your free trial at audible.com slash playontabletop or text playontabletop to 500-500. Audible has what you are looking for. Start your free trial at audible.com slash playontabletop or text playontabletop to 500-500. JT rolls for his warp storm points. They will allow special effects throughout the game and could be crucial or fickle, depending on the whims of the gods. Mike draws his secondaries, getting no prisoners. Remove 30 wounds worth of models, grind them down, kill more over an entire game turn, and blood and guts. Kill three units in melee. Mike chooses Tide of Banishment, getting rerolls of ones to hit and wounds versus demons. I mean, hey, why not? Well, three. step one. Time to move. Time to move. Mike is pressing his Terminator blob forward as expected. The Terminator squad right here is going to use Aegis Eternal. It's the Preserver's Psychic Power. I'm him. And I deny it. Okay. With an 11. It doesn't go off. So that's his only deny this turn? Mike, spending his command points on psychic channeling, down to three command points. And he's going to cast Sanctuary. Oh no! And it's a full whiff. Mike casts Gate of Infinity. He's going to be able to move a unit anywhere on the table outside of Nine of the Enemy. JT responds by using the corn specific stratagem Contempt for Sorcery to deny on a four plus down to command points, and it fails. And they, as my last second power, will smite. Feet of me. I get it with an eight. For three. For three? So that is going to kill a Plague Bearer. All right, I'm gonna open up with the Relic, because that's fun. The Librarian is gonna shoot his Fury of Deimos at the at Skull the Cannon. Skull Cannon. He's uh, mad. Tides of Banishment. Gotcha. A big old floppy poo. Nothing. 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 Go skull cannon of corn. Uh, I'll shoot this squad. Yep. It'll shoot at the skull cannon. Sure. It's tough as nails. Uh, make one, fail one. It's Nine wounds. large wolves. Terminator squad in the middle here yep. is going to shoot at the skull cannon. Uh, make one, fail one Two damage. damage. Uh, I'm going to command point reroll the other dice. Okay. And I make it. Holy dice roll! Mike manages 12 wounds! JT fails seven four ups, and the skull cannon is down to one wound. The last Terminator squad in the mid table. Five man Terminator squad will also shoot it. Bring it down, boys! Bring it down! Uh oh. I gotta make six four ups. Everybody says that my dice are crazy lucky on Feel No Pains and Invuln Saves and crap. Let's see. We're about to see what happens. I need six four-ups or he dies. I do not get six four-ups. In fact, I get exactly three. Oh, at least I got to deploy it. So Mike got really lucky with the shooting and I got really unlucky with my saves. However, it's 100 points out of 1,500. It sucked up all of his firepower. I'm okay with the loss. A couple Plague Bears go down to the shooting and it's on to the charge phase. So most importantly, the large Terminator squad is going to charge delightful plague bearers. The, all right, so they, good. I have nothing to stop you. They do not shoot. They they hiss and moan at you. All right. So it looked like I was had an easy win over the plague bearers with my Terminator unit, but just how the Terminators funneled through the building, I couldn't get that many into position. Okay, uh, so I will attack with the Terminators. So I am gonna get five guys in. JT, spending a command point, on revolting constitution, down to one remaining, the plague bearers will only be wounded on fours or better. Do that. Uh, so I say both. There you go. So these are all wounding the same, doing the same thing, and Got then I'll do the thousands that. Yep. Five up to ignores. Uh, I save them all. Wow. So that's uh, seven. Ooh, that's no, six, six, six saves, saves in a row. Excellent. Plague bearers. And then the falchions attacking. Fives. Alrighty. 
How much damage, Falchion? Two. Two, so it does kill a dude. You did it, five Terminators. You killed one whole Plague Bearer. Brrrg. Man, JT just made saves like you wouldn't believe. Plague Bears are supposed to be tough. Let's just see how it goes. I'm pretty sure that I can take them out because their profile's pretty good. Plague Bears, clap back. JT using the Nurgle stratagem, Plague Banner. And any unmodified wound of six will do a mortal wound, but he's out of command points. And I failed two saves. So I'll lose so a dude. One guy down to one wound. Good start for the Grey Knights. And Mike has some serious positioning advantage as well. Let's see how JT responds. JT pulls tempting target, Mike choosing the no man's land secondary for JT to grab. Investigate sites, do an action in the mid table, and area denial, keep Mike out of the middle. Boy oh boy, JT did not get a lot of help with his secondaries. Hopefully he can get some kills to make up for it. I need a little bit of luck, but I, I think I can really hurt him on this turn. So let us start with Changecaster and see if you want to deny all my shenanigans. I'll try. But I'm gonna start with Gaze of Fate. Gaze of Fate, perils. Command reroll for JT out of command points, but he keeps the Changecaster at full wounds. Virulent Thanks. Blessing. This gives them uh, two damage. Two damage weapons. It goes off with a six. So I will try you and deny it. You could deny it because I, I didn't will, roll a seven. Yeah, I will attempt to deny it with the Interceptor Squad. Okay. Denied. Denied. So they do not, get, do not get two damage. We're both just shutting each other's powers down. It's so cool, yeah. right? So Bolt of Change, uh, I'm going to attempt to cast it into these guys. You would. I need a five. Every five up, you take a mortal. Oh, <laughs> one. All right. Maybe. But if you die, you'll take another mortal. Wow, that was brutally bad. Emperor <laughs> protects. <laughs> does not. <laughs> so it kills a dude and then take and another five another up. mortal. Yeah. Okay. This does not bode well. Chaos gods are angry with him. Okay. So I'm gonna smite. Plus two to cast. Don't get 13 again. Six, eight. Take three, oh. three mortal wounds. Okay, blink. And another guy takes a wound. Boon of change succeeds. It will increase the efficiency of the horror's shooting to strength five. With a dead skull cannon, the only shooting left is horrors and the Lord of change herself. So I'm actually going to shoot with the pink horrors first. He's good. I think it takes two more. <laughs> and he died. Yeah. Takes one, just takes one. From Big Blasty McShoots yeah. with 3d3 shots into the Grey Knights. 3d3. Plus three. He's still up. He's still up. He's still Live. up. He lives. All right, that was crap. <laughs> Take that. Well, you know, the Grey Knight Terminators, they're known for their agility and backflipping. And I'm gonna charge these Plague Bearers. Five, hey, that's which what is needed. what we needed. Plague Bearers into the Interceptor squad. They should manage a couple of kills and perhaps force a leadership check in the morale phase. I fail it. I got really lucky. Plague Bearers just bounced off the Interceptors. I was not expecting that at all. Okay, you get to fight back with all six dudes. Just tough as nails. Uh, I'm gonna lose three dudes. Okay. Okay. Grey Knights doing two damage in combat makes Plague Bearers rather flimsy. Dude, it almost kills me. Might clap back. Might kill all that. So I'm in a case where I have a really good opponent who really knows what he's doing, and his dice are hot, and I just gotta hold on and try to score as much as I can. Uh, so my morale, he gone. Erner. Blarg. What a great turn for Mike, and a horrendous turn for JT. Let's see if he can press his advantage. Mike draws secondaries. No retreat, no surrender. Don't leave objectives in the movement, or fail morale, or fall back. Assassinate, kill a character. Investigate sites, do an action, mid-table. JT rolls six, plus two from the last turn, puts him at eight. That should help this turn. So what kind of, there's gotta be a one that's oh. something nasty. Yeah, the big one is, is eight, hey? Dark Invigoration to heal everything. 
feeling um, invigorated. So Dark Invigoration cost me five, so really all I'm looking at spending is three. Can you do more than one Warp Storm casty? I can ideally? do all sorts of Warp Storm Okay, so as long as you have points. As long as you have the points, You right? can do it. Continuing to press his advantage, Mike is being very aggressive here. Strike Squad deep strikes in and investigates sights. Castellan Crow drops in mid-table as well. Apothecary heals the Terminator Blob and spends a command point to resurrect one, down to four remaining. And I'm going to give the Strike Squad that just arrived to do the action. It's called Hallowed in Soulfire and they essentially get minus one to be hit in shooting and combat. Very cool. Terminator Squad attempts Aegis Eternal and fails. The Librarian is attempting Sanctuary. He succeeds, but the Change Caster denies it. The Terminators here will yep. cast Hammerhand on themselves. Sure. Goes off on a five. And a five, I'll deny with my Lord of Change. Okay. JT spends one command point on contempt for sorcery to deny it on a four plus, and he does so. These guys will smite. Okay. Interceptor smiting. With a six. I will attempt to deny it. Uh, six, I do not deny. Okay. For three. Ooh. Ouch. What the heck, dude. All right, so I'm gonna stop doing powers. Okay, let the shush thing begin. Purgator squad, shooting Purgator. the poxwalkers. Shooting the poxies. Hitting on fours, because they moved. Four ups. Hey. I failed one. See, now where were you that, a while that, ago? But it's that one squad. They're tough as nails, those guys. Bloop. This squad here can't do anything else but shoot them, so yep. they will. Plague. Save. I make one fail one. So one damage. One guy's gonna take a wound. Castell and Crow will shoot his Storm Bolter. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, the Interceptors. Interceptors. Do people know? <laughs> Reroll once. Plague Bears are taking an absolute pounding, but I have a feeling when Mike charges, it's not going to matter, as two damage weapons will just obliterate them. Large Terminator squad? Yep. We'll shoot everything at the horror. Sure. Foster. Zinch. I fail one. <laughs> yeah. I can fail some one. great saves, my friend. So that means you're gonna kill one. All right. All right, and the other Terminator squad will also shoot the thing. With the guys in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So one, a two -hoo, a, three. a three. You get two blues on a four up when you kill a pink. And then with the warp storm, you can get D3 more pinks back almost every turn. Finally, GW got the pink horror rules down. I love the new system. Do they shoot? They do. They're just not as strong as the pinks. Okay. I will start with the Terminator squad. Yeah, the big guys. Yeah, the large Terminator squad charging the plague bearers. Okay. They will charge both units, I guess. Probably gonna have Just to. Just because I have, to, on what you roll, I have yeah. to to get in. Yep. Seven will be fine. Do you have enough command points to interrupt? Nope. Okay. In that case, I will start with the Terminator squad. Five ups? Nope. One, Larg. Two. And then kills another dude. Larg. Okay. That unit has been so tough. And they are one, two, three, four, five dead. I'll start with the <laughs> weapons that are gonna wound him a little easier. Yep. And wounding on threes. Poxbringer falls, scoring five for the assassination. Uh, I... Morale phase, so I'm gonna spend five Warp Storm points. Five Warp Storm points will see D3 models return to the Pink Horrors through Dark Invigoration. Sweet. And then you still keep the four blues. I still keep oh, the four so blues. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Mike has started to widen his lead. Hopefully JT can draw some decent secondaries so he can actually score and stay in this. If I can just keep scoring a couple every turn, I can make this game closer. But right now, Mike's running away with it. Mike is up to four command points and JT to one with an extra from his exalted Lord of Change. JT draws the battlefield supremacy, hold his own objective and more than Mike. No prisoners, do 30 wounds worth of kills, 
JT still has three Warp Storm points. I sense the incoming demons! So, my librarian is using the Omen of Incursion and psychically telling the Interceptor Squad that these guys are about to come in and to shoot them down. It's essentially an Auspex scan. But it just costs 25 points. It costs points. 25 points, yeah. Which is pretty cool, actually. So, nine three ups. Here we go. I got one. You got one, and another one takes a wound. So I'm going to start with Infernal Gateway. I get plus two to cast because I'm at full wounds. Okay. Uh, Infernal Gateway is the closest unit, which is them. Okay. And he's within three, and they're within three, and if okay. it bounces, they'll take damage. If I cast this with more than a 12, it's three mortal wounds. Nasty. It's a 12. I only the, have two uh, more casts. The right? librarian will try. Because you need to roll an 11. No, I roll a 10, 12. You need to roll a 12. So close. <laughs> so close. So these Terminators take three mortal wounds. Yep. Okay, hold on. Five ups. Mike saves two mortals on the Terminators. Apothecary saves one, taking two, and the Inceptor Squad takes one. So many mortal saves. This is killing me. Oh, man. Ah! Bolt of Jade into the Apothecary, and this could be big. Goes off at a nine. Uh, seven, eight, nine. So hexagrammatic wards for one command point yeah. takes Mike down to three to try to deny on 3d6, pick the two highest. Come on, buddy, live! I got a nine, so it's not enough. Okay, uh, don't so, die. Uh, one, two, only two mortal wounds! Aegis shield, yeah. protect me! I say, I take one. You take a mortal wound. All right, so he's down to two. So that's not ideal. Boon of change now, and it succeeds. Making the pink horse toughness four. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm now spending one command point to cast a smite because I can cast an extra power, so I think it's those Terminators are gonna get smoked. So you're spending command points for it? spending command point for it. So it goes off with a seven. Terminators will try and deny it. Yeah, because I think that's the closest target to me, right? They block it. They block it. All right, it's worth a shot. It was worth a shot. So let's start with the shooting phase. So I'm gonna start with the, uh, with the big guy. Uh, he's gonna 3d3 shots into the Terminators. If that Lord of Change makes a big move, I'm in trouble. That's crazy. So, first guy saves it, second guy saves it, third guy save it. Unbelievable. This get, is not going well. Get in there and start chopping. Flamers are going to wreck stuff here. Okay. Uh, plus 15. This, twice. Cool. Flamers going to work on Inceptor Squad and barely kills them. Armor of Contempt is for real, folks. Exalted Flamer to kill one model off, and it succeeds. I think I can thin you with the pink horrors. These are just the blues into the Terminators. Okay. And reroll one. Two guys, ups. Guys in cover. Yeah. Good. 16 shots from the pink horse. Uh-oh. But I have six ups. Yes. First guy lives. First guy lives. Come on. Now he does. But rightfully so. He's just making six ups all for days, and sometimes you, you can fight your opponent, but you cannot fight the dice. Well, that was delightful. I, I'm sorry for that. That was angry. Choices, choices, choices. Crow is a concern, but killing that apothecary might be worth it. Problem is, JT can't crack that Terminator armor. And that's it. Three, four, five. Five attacks. On threes at AP2 and flat three. Okay. So I could do some work here. That's going to be four wounds. I fail one. Three I damage. Three six up saves. <laughs> hey, Mike, can you fail a save? Just one? Okay, thanks. No. Oh, man. <laughs> Apothecary. You earned it, buddy. Emperor protects. Which is funny to say because this is the, is only the only Imperial Army that I play. <laughs> Everything else is evil. <laughs> Blood Crushers are coming up into my zone, trying to take that one objective. He's putting a lot of pressure on, but I need those Terminators to live. Mike, interrupting for two command points. The Grey Knight Terminator Squad is gonna attack the super cool Blood Crushers. Miss! <laughs> oh, Christ. The Terminators do a ton of wounds, but JT saves and only loses one model. 
You know what? I got rid of one blood crusher. You I'm did. super happy with that. That's gonna make the difference. Seven I think. attacks. It's right? gonna make the difference. It's gonna so make the difference. You're gonna live. You're gonna live, guys. You're gonna be fine. Yeah. On three. Yeah. Blood crushers are in, and only kill two models. JT is not blessed of the dark gods. See, I gave up the Baleful Sword for that shooting attack, which is better, but the fact that you have AP1 in cover or 1-up armor is just, oh my gosh, I hate Armor of Contempt with a passion. Armor of Contempt is a huge deal. Zeke's stuff only has AP2, and if you're in cover in a Terminator, your saves are not changing. So I'm abandoning this objective against yep. my better judgment. Better judgment. But I think I need to start pounding pounding this, my Lord of Change this into lovely blue dirt. lady. Yeah. So this is the hammer. Hammer. Nope. So three damage. Ooh, that's gonna sting a little bit. Down to 17 wounds. Oh. Two five ups again. Nope. So four damage. All right. All right. That's the end of that turn. Wow, not a great turn for JT. Armor of Contempt is stymieing most of his attacks, and he's losing models pretty fast. Possibly a bit of a route on the scoreboard, but there is still a lot of game to play. There's, there's no point to worry about scoring because Mike is kind of running away. I just need to keep scoring as much as I can to try to keep pace to leave me the last two turns to be able to catch up. Mike draws secure no man's land, deploys teleport homos, hold the line. Mike is up to two command points to JT's one. JT up to five warp storm points. Hopefully he can keep his units alive. Setting Crow back up to smack the Lord of Change seems a legit move here. And the Librarian looks to make a mess of the Pink Horrors. Strike Squad looks like to be setting up to charge the Blood Crushers. Apocathera heals himself and spends a command point on Cherigic Resurrection, probably on Terminators, taking Mike down to one command point left. Shoost me, brother. All right. I um, think I'm gonna do Psychic Powers first. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> Worth a shot. So those guys are gonna smite. Giddy up. Lord S of change. I need a seven to die, and I do. Uh, I still have one more deny here and one more deny here, okay. so. Purifying Flame, nine inch range. Yes, you are. Oh, so. yes he is. And it goes off with a seven. I'll attempt to deny with the change caster. I get a nine. Terminators mm -hmm. are going to do hammer hand. Mm -hmm. They get a five. Oh yeah, we're gonna deny that. Get those stinky imperial dice. I need a six, and I get an eight. That's three denies in a row. Zinch wills it. The apothecary yeah. is going to empiric amplification. It goes off with a ten. I don't want to, but I'm spending my command point. JT responds with contempt for sorcery for another command point, and it is denied. All right, uh, this squad will also do hammer hand, so it's now on a six. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Librarian perils on his cast, takes a mortal wound. Second cast is Sanctuary, and it succeeds. These Terminators will, they'll smite. They get it, so D3 on the Blood Crushers for one. For one wound. And then the Purgigators will also smite on a seven now. It goes off for three. On the Blood Crushers. On the Blood Crushers. Oof, so that kills one dude. And then down to two. Now we can do the shoes things. Here she comes. The librarian with his super bold gun mm -hmm. is going to shoot the flamers in the back. Sure. Pew, pew, pew. A pow. Four, I want to say. I failed two. So kill one, another one's down to one wound. Strike squad is going to shoot the flamers in okay. the distance, okay. knowing their threat. Four, three ups. I failed two. Okay. I killed so one kill at a least. flamer, takes a flamer down to two wounds. Okay. Who's Castell left? Castell and Crow will shoot at the horrors. Shooting the horse, okay. RT4. I save it. And the Purgator squad will shoot the horrors. Okay, and uh, starting with the blue horror. Purgation squad into the horrors. Four blues down, but a brimstone pops into existence. I will open up with the the thing that matters the most, Crow. Here charging. it comes, Castle and Crow charging the Lord of Change. How far is it? Uh, I don't know. I didn't even look. Four is probably not enough. Four is not enough. All right, Four is last not enough. command point. Here it goes. I'm gonna, oh, gonna if roll there are different dice. Zinch, Zinch, I beseech thee. Seven's good. You Seven's suck, for Zinch. Sure good. <laughs>
the librarians can get to grips with these horrors and smack them good. All right, so we'll start with the servitors. I assume they have one attack each. On fives. On a four. I'm good. Okay. Who's next? Uh, I'll just strike okay, squad. This way. So right. strike squad. The one. Uh, make one, fail two. So that's one and a half gone. Because you're plus one and one. You can roll hot. Or I cannot. Or you cannot. Slain by the hand of the strike squad. All right, this is the man of the hour, the thing everyone wants to see. Castle and Crow into the Lord of Change. Yep. Yeah, come on now, five up. Nope. Okay, so that's two damage. Down to 11, and then D3 mortals. D3 mortals. Three. Oh, ouch. Does that at least bracket you now? It does, yeah. So okay. she's down to eight. Okay, so I may as well fight with her next. So I, I have to go into the Terminators to try to kill them. Uh, four attacks. Uh, save it? Yeah, maybe two. Terminators take Lord of Change down to two wounds remaining. There's nothing I can do about this guy. At this point, I'm really wondering if Zinch is even paying attention anymore. Was I supposed to play Nurgle? Was I supposed to play Corn? Come on, Zinch, show me some love. Moralfi sees the Dark Invigoration Warp Storm effect, giving models back to JT. And insane bravery, they hold. Mike has a commanding lead, 55 to five. JT will need to draw excellent secondaries coming up if he is going to get back in this. Mike could put this away in his turn four. I can still get in this game, I can still win this. Zee drills it and gives JT another command point, which he'll most likely waste on something silly. DT draws assassinate. No retreat, no surrender. This one will be tough. My Lord of Change um, needs to fall back and get out of here. Because he's a monster character, I'm gonna use the power of Warp Portal. Then I can teleport her, and I don't think he knows sees that coming, and put her out of out of reach. The intent is to have the closest target be the librarian. Unfortunately, that means I'm going to lose no retreat, no surrender, because she walked away from an objective. So I'm not going to be able to score that this turn. Okay. The librarian's been holding the center of the board all by himself, being a big tough boy. This librarian mid-table is driving me bonkers. Here comes the fun. Are we ready for this? I don't know if I am. I don't like what just happened, but... If I can smite him out, then I'm going to be in good shape and then I can shoot with my horrors. So I'm going to smite with my change caster. Okay. Change caster smites. So I'll try and deny. Yep. Yeah. so you need to roll an eight. That's seven, eight, seven. nine. How many mortals did your librarian take? A Just one. the one. Maybe. Maybe. I save it. So I fail to do any appreciable mortal wounds to the librarian mid-table, and he's just a giant power hammer in my side. Boo earns. Okay, so he has a second cast, Infernal Flames. Each time a model makes a range attack, add plus one to the wound roll. I'm gonna put it on the flamers. Good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the flamers. Here we go. Goes off with a nine. Okay. Still trying to nine? Sure. Got a nine. So that's plus one to 10. So 10. So, so that I shuts do block up. that. Let's start with the exalted flamer into Castle and Crow. Okay. Trees. So yep. if I fail two of these, I'm dead. Yep. I failed all of them. Whoa! <laughs> Booyashaka! Crow is dead, and I'm happy about that. I'd love to get the apothecary, because he's really making me mad, but I'll take a dead castle in Crow. Three D6 flamer shots into the Terminators, because I got nobody else to shoot at. 15 AP2 wounds in on the Terminators, and only one Terminator dies because of cover and armor of contempt. I have no shooting here. No. Now it's just charges. So we're just going to charge the Terminator Librarian with my change caster. Here we go. A six, I don't think that's enough. It is not enough. But that means your Terminator Librarian gets to fight first. And he will. Four attacks. Winning on twos. Sixes. Nope. Blah, Kills blah. two. Okay, let's make some blue horrors. Uh, so on four ups. Nope, no blues. Bom, bom. And then I'm gonna go touch fives. Four ones, just one wound. Hey, that's more than last time. In it though? I save it. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> That is a very fast turn for me. I lost by two, my leadership's eight, so that means well, you, I need a six, and then I'm minus two more, right? You slayed the crow. Uh, and I fail morale. On ones, I lose another one. I lose two more dudes. Mike seems to have an insurmountable lead. However, don't count JT out yet. Hopefully, he can draw something decent soon and score some points. 
Mike is up to two command points to JT's one, and JT rolls five Warp Storm points. Mike draws Overwhelming Firepower, kill three units in shooting, Area Denial, keep JT out of the middle, extend battle lines, hold his own objective, and an objective in No Man's Land. Mike could really clean things up here. He seems to still have a lot of guns and swords and things. Terminators are going to smite. Ooh, come at me, bro. Smite! I will attempt to deny. I need okay. to roll a nine. I'll deny with my ritual change caster. I do not. And they do one. Do one. Mighty mortal wound. Mortal wound. Strike squad here will do hammer hand. Okay. They get it with an eight again. I'll attempt to deny over here. Okay. I need a nine. I don't. The Terminators on this objective smite as well. Uh, so, so that's my horrors. I get two. So you're gonna kill two pinks. I roll two. I get two moves. Sweet. It's not sold this in any store. store. Will smite? Who are they smiting? Flamers. Closest. Super smite. Yeah. Strike squad. Super smite the flamers, but only kill one model. And that give JT no prisoners. I'll spend one command point on Psychic Channeling and roll 3d6 and pick the highest for my Librarian this round. Makes the sense. Moted. Uh, I'll attempt to deny it. Okay. With a nine. Uh, two is not going to do it. D3 mortals to my squad. One. One mortal. I'll take it on a blue. And does he come back as a brimstone? Get a brimstone. You do. He does. So, tis a four. I am going to cast Gate of Infinity on Oh, you're going to come for me. squad. Who's casting? They are? Or he is? He is on them. Oh boy. Fail. <laughs> oh, it does. I'll spend my last command point to reroll. To reroll it. Interesting. There we go. So with a 10, it goes off. They can drop anywhere outside 9, right? Yeah. Okay, out of command points, but I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, I'm still sitting at one. This Strike squad back here is going to shoot flamers. Both guns go. Trip saves. Here we go, baby. I One's all one. I needed. That's killing that dude with a single wound. All right. Purgator squad will shoot the Lord of Change or Lord S. Hitting on fours. Yep. It, it goes a long way. Tree up. No. Two damage. Down to three wounds. So I'm gonna shoot these guys at the Lord at back Lord there. Lord of so Change. That's three storm bolters. It is. Super cool. Might be spending a command point here. No, nope. I'm good. No need. The Terminator squad over here is yes. gonna shoot both psi cannons at the <laughs> Lord of Strange, and then all the storm bolters are going at the psi cannons. Yep. Three up. Good. Okay. Storm bolters. Three ups. Okay, well, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, and the question is, do I want to save one? It leaves two, but then you just kill me in combat. Big Overwatch is better. Mid-board strike squad is going to shoot the Lord of Change. This is such a bigger target. I make one fail one. I got one. Down to two. Okay, that's all my shooting. Uh, time for the charges. The Terminators. Yeah, multi charge, whatever. All right, so Go for it. I have a choice of who I can overwatch with. Feel the warp overtaking me. Feel it. It is a good pain. Hey. 11 shots, baby. Hey. There we go. On threes, because strike six. Whoosh. Two ups. He takes a wound. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Six up. Go best apothecary ever. My gosh. Thanks, buddy. You did it today. You really made the difference. Roll your dice. Oh, look, you're in. <laughs> they did it. Okay, hold on. I, I, I get an eight. I need to make a path for him. So I want path everyone him? to shovel around. He's going to charge in, too. Okay, so he has to go there. And the apothecary. Into the lone screamer, or lone flamer. Seven. Here. Bloop. Okay. I can't interrupt. Smack me like you, uh, like so, I owe you money. I'm uh, gonna start with the apothecary because he's been the rock star. Yeah, he, he deserves to make a kill. The wounding on five now, right? Uh, nope. Way to go, apothecary! Killed a thing. Uh, this is the hammer. This is the hammer. Wounding on threes then. Mighty zinch save. I you got one. one. Three damage. Two wounds remaining. Terminators kill the exalted flamer. Changecaster dies to the strike squad. 
Trimmy Librarian kills more horrors, but a brimstone comes back. JT spends his five Warp Storm points on Dark Invigoration and sees three more pink horrors and heals two wounds on his Lord of Change. 80 to 20 for Mike is a massive lead that JT can't catch. However, taking a few souls of the Emperor's finest with him could be worth it. JT draws Storm Hostile Objective, extend battle lines, and defend Stronghold. JT's plague of bad secondaries continues. Taking souls for the Zinch and skulls for the throne is all you have left, JT. I will never concede. That is a coward's play. Pinks storm the objective, so JT will score that. But he's all about killing that librarian. But I need him dead. I need his family dead. I need his parents dead. I need him dead. I can do this. I can do this. Here we go. OK. Um, she has the smite. She has the three mortals to three mortals shenanigans. So I'm going to do that. Needs an eight. Five, six does not go off. I'm actually going to use one of my command points on that. OK. Uh, so I'm going to reroll it. 10, 11. Hey, way to go. So I will try and deny it. Nope. Strike squad for one. Every enemy unit within three takes D3. One into the librarian. He does take it. So he's down to two. So I gotta throw my bolt of chains in to try to kill him. Seven, eight. I need to roll a seven. Because I get plus two. Yeah. Oh. Denied. I'm gonna smite. Smite away. Nine, ten. Point, but I'm not using They it do that. not defend. So they're gonna take D3. They're gonna take one. Smite now for one mortal wound into the strike squad. I don't have any shooting with them because they fell back. So I'm going to shoot them because they're the closest target. Mm -hmm. So 3d3 shots from the Lord of Change. Three, uh, hitting you on threes and winning you on threes. Four ups. <laughs> All righty then. You got three of them. I got three of them. Charges. So oh, I no. Know. I think I, a seven gets me to you. Yada, yada. Eight. There you go. You just needed a seven, right? Dun, dun, dun. So you're still saving on a three up, but I stopped you from being able to intervene to take that attack. True. Which was massive. That was really, that's what she needed to do. And if she dies, she dies. Uh, I hit you twice. Hey, one's all you need. Uh, wound you on threes. I will command re-roll one of those. <sighs> well, that's it. Man, oh man, Grey Knights are really good into demons. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that Weird. the army that is designed to fight demons Fights demons really might, well. Might be okay at it. What a game. Mike really brought the pain and JT did everything he could to withstand it. However, in the end, Mike just had too many holy bolters and wins with a score of 95 to 40. And don't worry, JT, the demons just go back into the war and to fight again another day. This episode is brought to you by Audible. Start your free trial at audible.com slash play on tabletop or text play on tabletop to 500-500. Audible has what you are looking for. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider joining us on Patreon or becoming a YouTube subscriber and help us continue bringing you content like this. This is Tycho, the Child of Chaos, signing off until next time. Play on! Green Knights versus Demons, that's what they do. That's their whole job, really. At this point, I think it's okay to let the Grey Knights win. Till next time, guys. Happy to play. Good to see you. Uh, thanks, Mike, for a fantastic game. Uh, I'll get you next time, Gadget, I promise. They quelled the warp. It's all part of the great plan. Zinch, Zinch has many plans. I do want to say thank you so much to Scott Riley for letting me borrow his blue horrors and his pink horrors and his brimstones because they're super cool and super cute, and I love the little capering dudes running around the table. I actually want to run a whole unit of brimstones.